think you should step. I don't think you could step. I've been killing them and I don't even think I'm good yet. I'm another type of motherfucker, kinda undiscovered, so I'm undercover. Been a rapper, cover that I've been all over. Some are cool and some are hard, so yeah. Now we're looking at the crossover. If you know you might have block homer, oh. We are in Hollywood. We made it to Hollywood, finally. Today, I am recording a record with El Dusty and it's super dope. I'm really excited to get in the studio with him and get to work. No one around where I live has made it to where I am right now. I have so much work to put in. I have so much to learn. It's hard to make it. What up? What up? What's going on, man? <laughs> Let's get it going. Today, we're in West One Studios here in Hollywood, California. Wiz Khalifa, the Migos, Cypress Hills recorded here. You can definitely feel the vibe. I'm from Salem, Massachusetts. I've been recording out of my bedroom since I was like 10, so I didn't have the resources to really get with different producers. Now I want to make music. It's actually one of my first times getting in a studio I'm not comfortable with, first time being there. I think it's real important to work with new people, especially people that you don't know and you've never met and you've never worked with anybody with that kind of style because it's a challenge, you know, it, it makes you strive to be better. It's coming out pretty good. I think that we should start tracking some vocals. If you could just like play the beat and I'll just, yeah, yeah. I'll just keep writing. Start. To really be here while the beat is getting constructed and putting it together and doing different drops and dissecting the stems and everything. And he's here while I'm writing it so he can be like, you know, I like that part, I don't like that part that much. And that's what it's really about. That's how you make something original and something authentic. I'm adding like little chants to the beat. Um, some little, I like to like keep it moving with like little vocal. And then yeah. I added a, like a bass line too. I definitely feel a lot of pressure. If somebody steps out of the room and they leave you with all their emotions. I want to make sure that he feels really good about what I'm doing. See, I just don't get it. They be crying like little baby wine and like little lady, hell no. I'm a man, a male, male man. Pushing the envelope, opening doors and close up the whole thing and pour I hit the road like a tourist only cause home can be boring. I knew I wanted to do something that I was saying like just, just that's a record that embodies just having fun and confidence and stuff like that. It was, it was just the word that said torso. The fact that you can break that word down into two parts, tor, and then so. The first line I wrote for this was, I'm home now, but the tour is so crazy. Whole state on my back, cause my tour is so crazy. Home now, but the tour is so crazy. Whole state on my back, cause my tour is so crazy. I have to when my pencil is back into it, poking holes and over a flitting ego, they pass it through a mouth. You go home when you start acting Hollywood. I go to Hollywood, they told me that I act to Massachusetts. That's a nasty attitude and that's been added at the music that it has a magnet to it. That's my fans attracted to it. Rappers act like acting cool as plastic gas like having used yet. That's like having packs of nudists as some active fashion students. That was dope, dude. Dusty has a lot of different sounds. It's really cool to see somebody who can who can master all these different techniques. I have about 20,000 records. Sometimes it'll just be a couple of days of me just listening to samples and recording things into the computer and chopping those things up. It becomes just like a little folder of ammunition. All these little bullets, this sound here and these drums here, and then we kind of put them on Ableton and it just all starts to make sense. Let me try to do one thing that it might be really whack. It probably will be really whack, but let me just try it. Pushing myself is, 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 the, is what I'm trying to do right now. And this was a perfect place to do it in. At first I was like, oh, you know, I hope I can catch that vibe. But you know, you can't live life like, oh, I shouldn't do it because it might not happen. It's like, you just gotta go for it. I'm trying to do, I want to do like a higher pitch on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got a couple phone numbers I probably should delete. But the rappers texting me like, look at me, look at me. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Look, I think they try, you know, imitate me, die, you know. The beat that he played just brought out this real confident side of mine. 
sense. I'm really just having fun with this record and experimenting with a lot of different flows that I've never done before. It's like in the kicks, oh, like not on the one. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah, nice. yeah, it's like. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's it's always like a, a process because I like so many types of different music and sometimes it doesn't really fit with the people that I'm working with, but I hear this thing in my head that it's like, I know where it's gonna work with them and I know how they could flow over it and, and make it happen. And, and I mean, he kind of just like did it on his own and he felt it the same way I did. I don't think it's a good thing to be comfortable in the industry. If you're content with where you're at, if you're not focused on moving past where you're at, it leads to your demise. I think on that last part, we can get like a little bit more intense, that flow where you're like bringing it real fast. Go in on that, man. Like get get crazy and let's try it again. Bite my dust. Tell him bite my dust. <laughs> yeah.